In this video, we are going to use WeVideo as a replacement for PhotoStory. To begin with, we are going to Upload Media. If you click on the Upload Media button, it allows you to upload any pictures, audio files, or video files that you want to use in your presentation. This step usually would show up in PhotoStory's little wizard that starts to set up the project. This is where you do that here. Now, I've already uploaded my media, so I'm going to go back to the Projects tab. I'm going to click the Create Video button. This is going to open up the Wii Video Editor. I would recommend using the Wii Video Standard Timeline Editor. The Wii Video Standard Timeline Editor gives you all the tools you need to make a product like PhotoStory, but it, all, it kind of eliminates some of the advanced tools that you might not need making this type of project. What I would do first is I would add my photos. So if I click on my Photos tab, I'm going to see all the photos that I'm using for my project. I'm going to add these photos. These are all photos from World War II. And my project has to do with the Nazis invading countries like Poland. And I'm going to add these photos to the project. Once they're in, I'm going to see it's a lot like Photo Story. If I would like to change the order of some of these projects or some of these pictures, I can do that. Just click and drag. It's very easy to do so. The lower right hand corner you're going to see there's a plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make these tiles a little bit easier to see. Now the next step I'm going to use in this project is going to be to add my transitions and my effects. When I use WeVideo for kind of a storytelling, a digital storytelling tool like PhotoStory, I want to get all of my images and all of that stuff done before I move on to the audio. It's going to make it easier. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go down to the graphics area and I'm going to add a main title slide by dragging it down and popping it at the beginning. I'm also going to add a the end slide to the end followed by some credits. Now I'd like to add some transitions so I'm going to click on the transitions tab. I like the cross blur transition. I think it just has a nice clean look. I'm going to drag that down. Now if I drag it on the photo just to the left of where I want the transition, it jumps in very nicely. So I'm going to just keep doing that. When I do a project, I try to keep the same transition across the whole project. So I'm going to maintain that kind of pattern. And in just a few moments, I have all of my media there for my project. Now, I just use digital still pictures. If you have video clips, you can do this as well. Now my next step in this project is going to be adding any sort of audio that I would like to add. So if I have two options here, I have this track that has a musical note, and then I have this one that has the red circle with the icon of a microphone. This one is where I can do a voiceover, this one is where I can put background music. Now I'm going to save the background music till last, and I'm going to work on my voiceover. I'm going to click on my audio tab over here and it should show me all the audio I've added to my account. So some of these are soundtracks, some of these are actually recordings I've made. Now if I click this record button, it'll record a track up here that I can then use by dragging down to my kind of work stage. If I click this record button, it'll actually put it on the stage wherever my cursor is. So my cursor is over here towards the 35 second mark it would pop over there. So I'd bring it back to zero. And if I want to start recording my project, I can do that. So I'm going to do that. Click record. Allow the microphone access to the computer. So World War II was a dark time in Poland. It all began when the Nazis invaded and started to persecute the Jewish citizens there, forcing many of them to flee for their lives. Now it might take a couple of seconds for this file to kind of get processed, it gets uploaded to the Wii Video server, and will actually appear up here as an icon. And this window pops up saying the storage has been completed, and I can see this little green track appears now, and when I hover on it, I can see kind of a faint greenish kind of background with the, I can actually kind of see the sound waves there. So that is my first audio track. Now notice this audio track is longer than the track, my, my first title slide, and it goes into my first picture. Now that's fine. If I like that, I can have this audio stretch through these two pictures. But if I don't want it to go into this picture, what I can do is click on this picture, and by dragging the edge here, and stretch it out so it's about matched up with this green line here. Now if I would like to record something else, i move my cursor on, and I can start recording by clicking the record button again. My next picture 
shows me a farm of some people that were displaced by the Nazis. On my next picture, I'm going to see a number of children and some farmers with the displaced people that were left behind when the Nazis moved and some people took shelter in various farms of kind neighbors. And I'm also going to see a picture of some SS soldiers. So I can actually talk to cover both of those pictures. So I'm going to start recording. In many instances, the families that fled the Nazi invasion had to leave their children with kind farmers who would watch them while they either fought in the resistance or sought shelter for their families. Here you'll see some Nazi SS soldiers arriving in whatever community they were arriving in, which was not the most concise description, but it'll work. Now I can see my second track. Now this second track will appear down here. At any point, I can shrink these tracks and eliminate part of it. So if I didn't like the last part of what I said, I can shrink this down and just cut that off. I can also stretch out these images and make them longer so that they kind of encompass the same amount of time as my narration. And that is the pattern you're going to follow as you narrate your project. Um, advice to use with your students is always make sure they have their kind of their pictures planned out and their narrations made before they start this process. If they are kind of going from the hip and trying to record as I'm doing in this video, it's going to take a long time. If they've already figured out what they want to say, the project will go much smoother. Now I have images and I have background narration, but I do not have any music to go through here. So what I want to do is I want to find a track that kind of has an atmosphere that will match this project. So I found some different clips on a website that looked like they were a somber themed music. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab one of these tracks, it's an mp3, and drag it down to my project. It's going to fill into this track right here and give it a couple seconds. You'll see it will extend for its full duration of the song. Now if I scroll over here I can see this song is much longer than the rest of my project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out so I can kind of see the whole track. All right, and I'm just going to grab this project or this track and shrink it right to about the end of my video. And then I'll zoom back in. Now one of the things to keep in mind is when you have music and you have a narration, these two audios audio signals are going to compete against each other. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that my audio on my music is going to be a little bit less than my audio that I recorded. So I'm going to click edit and I'll get these controls. Now the audio level defaults at 100. I can drag it way down to a smaller percentage. I can actually have it fade in and fade out as well. I can do that but I'm going to just click done and this track will then be added to my project and should have those settings that I want it to. Now if I click play. World War II was a dark time in Poland. It all began when the Nazis invaded and started to persecute the Jewish citizens there. Forcing... As you can see, you can hear my audio, but you can also hear that faint kind of sad music in the background, which I think fits this topic. Now there are some other things you can do in this editor to make this project even better, but I'm kind of just sticking with what you would do to replace Photo Story. And, and this is the basic stuff you would do to replace a Photo Story project using WeVideo. Students can access their project from any computer with the internet. There's even some phone apps that allow them to take video and pictures with their phone and upload them directly to WeVideo to create a project about themselves or something that they're going to be witnessing. So it's a very valuable tool. But this is WeVideo. You being used as a replacement for photo story.